بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم my dear vascular colleague I would like to invite you today for the third lesson regarding artificial intelligence and machine learning and here we'll do something which is little bit creative we are going to have a vascular conversation with a chat GPT-3 my name is Dr. Mohamed Al Farouk. I'm a consultant to vascular surgeon. Um, uh, I'm developing a free course uh, teaching artificial intelligence machine learning for vascular surgeon. If you are uh, interested, you can uh, um, photo the QR code and look in for this uh, course. And I will try to show you the capability of uh, machine learning in the uh, in the recent era of vascular surgery so uh, let us talk about uh, chat gbt3 what is a chat gbt3 this is a program developed by open ai which is a company uh, that was originally open source which means free with charge open to everyone but now it is a closed source and it is profitable uh, company uh, ChatGPT is abbreviation of uh, generated pre-trained transformer. Uh, this is a language that in simple term, like if you put all the information over the internet in one brain, and then you ask this brain the question that you want, it wouldn't give you options like uh, Google, it will give you single answer. Can we benefit from uh, chat GPT as vascular surgeon? A huge amount of benefit. And um, over the next couple of weeks, uh, there is a new development, which is GPT-4. We are dealing with a version 3. Now, version 4 is amazing because you will have not just a text reply, uh, because it's a language module, but you will have image reply and you will have video reply and it can read text, image and video. But let us take it little by little, start by GPT-3. Well, um, it's like a conversation you are going to have with a GPT-3 and someone will tell me, well, how this can help me as a vascular surgeon. So let us take it little by little. I have prepared some questions and uh, let us ask uh, chat GBT about it. So if I go from uh, this PowerPoint, if I copy, copy this question, and then I will go to uh, a chat GBT, <clears throat> and then I will put the question. What is the best vascular uh, book to read? Which is a very common question. Uh, a lot of you have asked this. There are many books. I will stop generating. As you can see, it's a very good answer. Um, there are many excellent books. That is fine. And he put rather for the vascular and the endovascular surgery as number one. Secondly, he put uh, vascular medicine, a companion by Bromwell. Again, this is very important. Uh, so you can have the books that you want. Um, it's very easy uh, and it will tell you what is the best books that you can read and this is definitely is, is very helpful. Notice that in GBT3 the information you get is uh, up to um, 2021. So the more we are going to use it hopefully 2022 and 2023 data will be put in but at least it, it's very good now this is a free version and there is now an upgrade to uh, gbt plus which is a new version which have a little bit more sophistication and um, and the more advantage so we'll take another question so this question is correct um, let us say I'm going to an exam, MRCS or Egyptian Fellowship or whatever. And then I, I want to ask Chad GBT to uh, tell me how I can do a study plan. So let us put this question. Create a study plan, MRCS second part with a timetable from, from a reliable 
sources. So I am asking ChatGPT to give me a study plan. How to study? Well, preparing MRCS examination require comprehensive study. And this is a plan. In three months, he put week one, week two, anatomy, physiology, then pathology, pharmacology, then the topic for another three months, general surgery, trauma, orthopedic, and phase three, revision. And he did put the timetable for the revision. Timetable, um, he put week from one to 12 foundation, ENT, so he can actually put put uh, to you uh, a study plan. Um, and you can speak multiple languages. You can speak in Arabic and you can speak in English, in French and whatever. So let us say, create a study plan for passing FRCS vast over the next six months. So I've, I've put another exam and he put the definition FRCS and then the study plan, foundation and knowledge for two months and then core two, another two months, vascular assessment investigation, open vascular surgery, then endovascular surgery and he put the timetable for everyone. So as you can see, it's pretty good. So you can make your study plan right away. Let us say that you you have a master degree from Ain Shams University, Cairo University, and you want to know what is the best topic to speak about, to present it to. So let us say, what is the best vascular topics to choose from for my master degree in vascular surgery from in Shams University. Okay, so let us see. Um, he's taking a few seconds because you know there is a huge amount of traffic uh, on uh, Google GPT-3 so he's, he's trying to collect all the information choosing the best vascular topic for your master's degree in vascular surgery from Ain Shams University will depend on your personal interest and career goals however here are some of the top vascular topics that are highly relevant and in demand in the field of vascular surgery. This is exactly what I want. Endovascular surgery include topics such as endovascular aneurysm repair, EVAR, peripheral vascular disease, another great topic, endovascular embolization, vascular trauma. So this is exactly what I wanted. And uh, you can see it, it gives you the topic to do your master, master degree. And another great tool, can you, you speak to ChatGPT as if he's a man. Can you summarize you, you tube video? and give a summary. <clears throat> um, this is a fantastic capability. So if you have a lecture, two hours, yes, he can give you a summary of that lecture and he can write it down for you and he can concentrate it so it can actually save you time. Not only that, but it can actually summarize books. Books can be summarized. It can also give you um give you diagnosis so if you have a patient let us say uh, what is the diagnosis of a 40 year old patient with pain 
in the left arm and absent pulse and and pulled left hand. So I'm giving him a simple case and trying to check if he's able to diagnose or not. Again, because there is a very high demand, it takes a little bit of time. Um, I'm just trying to give you an example how this tool is extremely useful. So this patient can have an acute ischemia, chronic ischemia, uh, can have a steel syndrome. Um, I've given him minimal amount of information. So the symptom 40 year left to old man, left hand are consistent with a condition called acute limb ischemia. So he did diagnose that right. And it's caused by sudden decrease in blood flow to the limb. I can actually ask him what is the best investigation and so on. So it's pretty good. So when you get a difficult case, you want to think about it, why not? By the way, if you have any question you want to ask a GBT because it is blocked in Egypt, just get, put it in the comment section of this YouTube video and I will put it to chat GPT or we can discuss it over the next case and then we'll see how it goes. So this is how it can actually uh, give you uh, a diagnosis of some of the disease that you So let us say uh, what is the flow chart of managing Symptom symptomatic internal carotid artery stenosis internal carotid artery stenosis from reliable sources. Here is a question. But you know that if they have a guideline in 2022, it will not be included in this. But let us see what is the flow chart of managing symptomatic internal cause artists. We know that if you are symptomatic, more than 60% either carotid artery stenting or carotid endarterectum. But here is a flow chart outlining the management of symptomatic internal carotid artery stenosis. This is his answer. Let us see. How he will solve this? He referred from the American Heart Association, AHA, a stroke. Diagnosis, stenosis based on imaging. We know that duplex and CT angiogram. Sometimes MRI angiogram and carotid. I'm just wondering what is the percentage who will say for intervention, but he said from AHA. Initial antiplatelet therapy, such as aspirin. And uh, evaluate the revascularization with either carotid endarterectomy, CAA, or carotid artery stenting CAS. Again, all this is correct. Again, the period of two weeks from having symptoms of high-grade stenosis, 70 99% and is at low risk. So you can see, again, perfect answer. I will stop generating from here. So it can give you diagnosis. It can summarize cases. Uh, it can give you a study plan if you want to study. It can give you also a flashcard to study. So let us say create a flash card to memorize cranial nerves. You know, a flash card is something where before the exam, you put a card that you try to remember as much as you can. So you see the card on the day before the exam. So let us see, is he able to create a flash card? That's true. Here is the front of the title cranial nerve image. Then you put the name, the function of the nerve, Menomics as well, yeah. and he put uh, very nice menomics for the olfactory, sensory, optic nerve, and then you go to um, 
the rest of the cranial nerves again to memorize them function of each nerve also all this is is done within seconds so it's a very good study companion uh, to a vascular surgeon and uh, not only that you can also create code with it and that is why this lecture is important for my course i will say for example create a python code to diagnose aortic artery aneurysm from patient dicom dicom file well this is very difficult question so uh, it, it's not an easy question um, as a language model i'm not able to access patient data so that's fine if you have the patient dicom loop suspect aortic aneurysm is important to consult a qualified because this is for medical legal so he didn't actually give me a code for this because um, he saw this is related to patient will take a decision so he want to be uh, absolutely safe but he can create python code i will mention here can you create python code Python is the language we're going to use uh, in the our course. It's very easy, um, and uh, hopefully we'll give you a book about learning Python in one day because it's very easy. It doesn't need previous computer programming skills. So let us see. He's taking time to answer because of the huge amount of traffic. Yes, I can help to create Python code. Please let me know what a specific task or problem you need to help and I will do my best to assist you. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll go back to our presentation. I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what uh, this terrific, uh, this uh, excellent tool that can help you. We have discussed these questions. Uh, how to create flash study card it can give you differential diagnosis it uh, this is one of the beautiful as well if you want a question for revision we'll go back to uh, chat gpt here it is so i will tell him uh, create three mcq questions on vascular surgery mention which is the correct answer from reliable sources so i told him here to create three questions what is the most common site of abdominal aortic aneurysm this is easy it's pretty easy isn't it inferior aorta what is the most common cause of acute limp ischemia? Again, uh, pretty easy, which is embolic. What is the golden standard diagnosis chronic ischemia? The gold standard is, of course, CT angiogram, which is answer is D. So he created to you three questions. You can actually also say what level you want of difficulty. And I mentioned at the end, thank you very much. You are great. Just out of politeness. And also he replied to polite. So uh, you are welcome. I am glad it helped. Don't hesitate to ask me if you have any question. So if you have any of the member of this course have any questions, just let me know and we'll put it into chat GPT. Here's another example of three questions. Um, it can create a summary of lecture YouTube, can give you mind map. And uh, I hope with this course, I've introduced a new tool to vascular surgeon, and I wish you all the best.